Hey guys, so here is the final hair look. It is a little less defined than what I usually end up with, but that's because, for one, I didn't let it dry long enough, and um, I had to kind of use my, my blow dryer here to help me out a little bit, but I still like how it looks. It's really cute, it's very soft. Um, the products that I use really help to soften the hair and keep it defined if you let it dry long enough, but I didn't. So this is what I'm working with right now. I did give myself a haircut, I don't know if you guys can tell, but basically I put in some layers on the top so it goes out more on top, if that makes sense. Um, and then I just kept it longer on the bottom, so um, yeah. At first I wasn't really sure what it was gonna look like because I cut it a couple days ago and my hair was not active right, so I was like, you know what, um, maybe that haircut was a bad idea, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, in the back of my head probably looks a hot mess, usually it does because I'm pretty sure there's some, some parting space somewhere, because I don't, I don't know how to cover that up. How do you guys cover your hair parts when you do froze? Because like I'm, I don't know, maybe just because I haven't worn my hair out in a fro in a while, but like there's, I'm sure there's some gappage back there, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to cut layers in the first place, so I can cover that. But yes, enough with my rambling. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, that is basically what I do for a braid out. Honestly though, usually I do the liquid oil cream method. So you, you use a liquid based moisturizer, go in with an oil like olive oil, castor oil, and then use a cream like shea butter. Um, but this time I just use my moisturizer and my gel because I just needed something quick. I wasn't trying to spend two hours doing my hair. So moisturizer, gel, that is it. So. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you want to see any other hair tutorials, let me know. I am more than happy to do it for you. Just leave me some ideas because like I'm not really sure what to do with my hair right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to straighten it at some point, but not yet. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm throwing out today. Frotastic. Frolicious. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, so we're gonna start off with half my hair already braided just to save time. And I'm going in with my Shea Moisture 100% Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment. It's just a detangler. Um, it helps to control frizz. It's just like, it's basically coconut oil and water mixed together. Um, if you don't have this, you can also just use water. Um, I just use this just because I want it to also detangle before I put in my styling cream. And for my styling cream, I'm using the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. Next, I'm going in with my Eco Styler Gel. It is the olive oil Eco Styler Gel, and I don't really use that much of this, maybe like a dime, dime-sized amount. Um, and I wanted this to dry within the next couple of hours. So I think I started this at like 8 a.m. And then around 12 or so, I took the rollers out. So um, just to give you an idea of how long it took to dry. And I'm basically just doing that all over my head. I'm going in with the Shea Moisture Leave-In Treatment Spray and then going over it with the Curl and Style Milk and then finally using some gel. So on my ends, I'm using perm rods. I have a couple different colors. The gray ones are my favorite because they have a tighter curl. Um, and then I also use the orange ones sometimes and then also the pink ones. I'm not really sure exactly of what how many inches this is. Um, I wanna say maybe like a quarter inch perm rod. Also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you need to follow me right now. Like, you need to pause the video and find my Instagram. Same name as my channel name and follow me on Instagram. I would really appreciate it. So a couple hours later, I went ahead and used my olive oil to take out my braids. I don't even remember what song I was singing here, uh, but clearly I was enjoying myself. So yeah. When you're taking down your braids, you always want to use some type of oil. That way you can reduce the amount of frizz that you have in your hair. Usually I just kind of um, slather it all over my fingers. Just because I'm going to be using my fingers mainly to take out the braids. So it kind of just makes sense to me to put it on my fingers as well as my hands. And then using that all over my hair and then just taking down my hair like that. 
I can say that one side of my head was a lot drier than the other side, and I think it's because I did that side first before I went over to um, do the other side on camera. So I, you can tell there is a big difference um, between the two sides, but that's my own fault. I think my hair still looks cute, so it's fine. Your hair doesn't have to be super defined to look cute. It's still gonna look cute, cause you look cute, so. Yeah, <laughs> and then I went ahead and used my blow dryer to help to dry some of the damp pieces that I had in my hair. And you'll see me um, just picking out my hair, also drying some sections. It wasn't super wet, but it was damp, and I didn't really like that that much, so I needed to use my blow dryer. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're notified when I post stuff because sometimes I post things and people aren't aware that I post things. So make sure you hit that notification bell. I will be having a surprise holiday collaboration coming up pretty soon that I'm very excited about. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.